Hello folks, this is Derek Stabell with Code 3 Training. Uh, as, uh, as you can see, uh, this is a different way to bring you fire extinguisher training for Portland Public Schools. Uh, since we're dealing with this pandemic, we've decided to bring you online uh, video training versus the in-person practical skills. In this first video, let's talk about extinguishment types or agents, and we'll talk about the types of fires. Uh, in terms of uh, what you're going to be using and what you'll see at PPS. Okay, so first let's talk about the types of fire or types of materials. We'll start with Class A. As you know, Class A involves combustible materials such as building materials. It includes sheetrock. It includes essentially anything within your buildings that is not electrical or flammable or combustible in nature. That's a Class A. Some examples of that would be cardboard, pallets, uh, any building material, construction materials, paper, wood, uh, rubber, and plastic. From there, we go to Class B. Class B materials are any flammable or combustible liquid. This includes everything from gasoline to diesel to propane, natural gas, uh, solvents, anything that is combustible or flammable in nature is considered a class B material. Then from there we go to class C. Class C is any, uh, any electrical device, circuit breaker panel, server room, etc. Anything that is electrical and is currently charged or operating is a class C material. That defines a class C. From there we go to class D. Class D materials uh, you will probably not encounter, and a Class D material uh, would be something like a magnesium or titanium. These are exotic metals that have specific extinguishment agents uh, used to combat a fire in those Class D materials. Finally, we go to Class K. Class K materials, uh, essentially, it's kitchen. It's uh, designated as uh, Class K kitchen, and those are uh, any vegetable oils, greases, uh, and fats related to commercial cooking. So uh, that is called a Class K. That is our newest classification of materials uh, within this realm uh, of uh, fire protection or fire extinguishment. Okay, so now that you know the classification of materials, let's talk about different types of extinguishment agents that are used for each of those, starting with Class A. Class A, of course, we have water. So for instance, if this field is on fire or we have bark dust on fire, we'll use a Class A uh, compatible material, which is water. So water from a hose, obviously we've all done that, or water from a can. This is the traditional water extinguisher that you saw in schools in the 70s, possibly the early 80s, before we went to the dry chem, dry powder type extinguishers. That is used to combat a Class A fire, is water. Class B fires. Class B fires uh, are combated with uh, dry chemical for the most part, uh, but also you can use carbon dioxide or halon or a halotron uh, material. Okay, that's Class B. And then these dry chem extinguishers are also called dry powder. It's a monoammonium phosphate these are what is required in your schools and in almost all businesses by the International Fire Code. And Portland Fire Bureau ensures that when they do an inspection, that you have the adequate number of uh, dry chemical uh, or dry powder extinguishers at certain uh, distances throughout your schools. That's a dry chemical extinguisher. Class C uh, fires are also put out or combated with the dry chemical extinguisher since these are multi-purpose. Class D fires uh, we will not discuss because they are so specific to an industry it does not apply and then class K finally class K extinguishers are just like this one here it looks much like the water extinguisher the traditional water can but it's a class K extinguisher it is a wet chemical extinguisher that is used for class A fires and class K fires. These are used in your commercial kitchens as portable extinguishers. 
So those are the main classifications of fire as well as extinguishing agents.